Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. In this video here, I'll be doing a teardown on an MSI gaming laptop. This is my first time doing on this model here, so I might make some mistake during the video, during my explanation, but I'll try to correct myself if I make a mistake on this. Um, let me show you the keyboard. So this is how it looks like on a keyboard and this is an Intel i7 10 generation with the uh, graphics card of NVIDIA. So as I look here, the, the keyboard does not seem to be come out from the top here. It might have been a built-in underneath or inside the laptop. So um, I, I need to take it apart and do the explanation for you. This is, like I said, this is my first time. I do not exactly know how this thing looks like but I'm just showing you how the keyboard is and as I go down here as you can see this is the uh, uh, the LCD screen and the webcam is on the top here same goes with the microphone all right so um, besides that and let me show you the model number so this model here is MSI MS one five five one and let's get started so we need to remove the the back plate okay so it is just a regular Phillips screw um, nothing really special I'm not sure why this screw is not coming out this this one here it should come out but it is not so just leave it um, here is the factory seal label so you if you want to take it apart you actually need to break the seal and the screw is not coming out. oh there you go the screw is up let's open this one so technically we need to uh, open up the back plate in order to get in to take a look at what is inside the laptop. That screw is not coming out. Let's see, this screw is out. Alright, so it looks like all the screws are the same size, so actually it doesn't matter if you mix match and mix match with them. Um, so I'm getting a plastic, uh, sorry, a metal plank to try to pry open the back plate. Oh, it's pretty easy. And let me push all the screws out. There you go, I have one screw here and the second one did not come out, I just got it out here. So let me put all the screws on the top here. Here you go, so um, once you remove all the screws, the back plate will just gonna come right out without any problems, okay? So here, um, if you take a look, the, the motherboard is right in front of you. And obviously this is the uh, DDR RAM and let me take a look here so by the way to open the RAM you need to use the two thumb and push both of the clipper away from you right so push it outwards and the RAM will just pop up okay just slide out like this so let me show it to you here it says it's a 8 gigabytes PC4 meaning that this is a 8 gigabytes DDR4 RAM so they have it on the first slot you can have additional slot on the second uh, DDR RAM and probably you can do 8 and 8 which is 16 or you can do 16 and 16 which is up to 32 uh, I believe this model can go up to 32 gigs of RAM so let's move the RAM on the side here here is your battery okay so the battery here to disconnect I believe you need to just pull this one up 
meaning that this connect there's no clipper whatsoever you just use your fingernail lift it up and that's how you disconnect the, the battery so let's go ahead and remove the battery entirely so there's a screw that's holding the battery there's one screw here and this is cable right here there's a tape it's taping onto the battery so let's move the, the tape on the side and once you move the tip on the side you can see that there's another screw here so go ahead and remove this screw and there's another screw at the bottom here and I believe the battery will just come right out so this is the battery um, if your battery is not flat as this like this meaning that your battery is swollen or maybe a lump that means the battery is bad okay so if your battery is lump has a lump and swell I would recommend you to to replace the battery immediately um, the battery may catch fire if you keep using it okay so I believe this is the model number BTY M491 so just look it up on eBay or maybe my description below I would have the battery where you can purchase them on eBay or Amazon so let's put it put that put that on the side um, this is your C drive meaning that your operating system so um, all your data store in this M.2 NVMe drive okay so go ahead and remove the screw you're gonna feel a little bit sticky why sticky because there is a thermal pad underneath the M.2 drive which that's how it conducts the heat um, to slide it out you need to slide it to your left so once you remove the screw the thing lift it up a little bit at this angle 45 degree it will slide out to your left that's how you remove this hard drive so this one here is solid state drive M.2 it has let me see how many gigabyte is this Mm. sorry I can't see it I think it's 512 yeah so this is a 512 gigabyte um, I'm pretty impressed only one chipset here is 512 so imagine if they can build one more chipset here and one here that would be what 1.5 terabyte but anyway this is your M.2 solid state drive alright so here you can see that this is your touchpad right here is the touchpad uh, looks like there's three screws one two and three holds onto the touchpad so if you want to remove or replace the touchpad you need to open this clipper and slide out the uh, the cable so let me see I think the cable is double sided tape onto it yeah I think they they tape it together but there you go okay so this is the uh, the cable that goes to your touchpad if you want to change the touchpad um, that's how you're going to disconnect it all right let me get back to the main reason here to do the teardown um, this is your heat sink as you can see this is your cpu and this is your graphics card and this is the heat sink you have a two major fan the left fan is bigger the right fan is smaller and this is the cable to the fan so to remove the fan first you need to disconnect the cable 
to disconnect the cable this cable here you just got to use the two thumb the, the the thumbnail and push it away from you all right so push it up push it outwards that direction away from you and that's how you remove this cable and there's this little tape here so you can just save the tape and we're going to tape it back later on okay and this is it and go ahead and remove the screw it looks like the fan has three screws that it's holding on to one two and three and your fan should come right up without any problem but before you do that you actually need to remove this tape oh no I'm sorry it looks like the fan is connected to the heatsink so as I move the the fan you see that heatsink is moving as well meaning that the fan is connected to the heatsink um, what should I do at this point here so maybe I should try to disconnect this fan first okay and then I'll explain to you further down what I see or what I think it is so here is a Wi-Fi you can see this is black and white I always make a label on the uh, the Wi-Fi just in case if I mix match the connection so put a little marker here on a sharpie right so this is for the white and this is for the black and we just remove it okay at this point here this is a left fan again I'm gonna use my two thumbnail push it away from me and push it outwards and that's how I disconnect this cable here so let me go ahead and remove the screw this one two remove the tape all right so you, you see how I lift the the fan up it looks like it attached to the heat sink so now to remove the fan I think I need to remove the heat sink at the same time all right so let's give that a try so let's go ahead and get these two screws on the top here for the CPU two screws at the bottom two screws on the top for the graphics card Two, two screws for the bottom on the graphics card as well so there's total of eight screws so let's see if I can lift up the uh, heat sink all right so there you have it you see the entire heat sink and the CPU fan is all together like this it looks like they're all built Do you think they built entirely? Um. Yeah, it looks like the heat sink and the CPU fan is all built in one piece together. So my recommendation is to uh, buy a replacement entirely like this, rather than just a CPU fan by its own. Uh, if you want to buy it, maybe look up the model number here. But it but this does not seem to be the model number uh, maybe you just want to look it up like MSI you know hit sync and hopefully you can get that so so far I have removed the uh, the heat sink and the CPU fan and if you want to apply a new thermal paste go ahead and clean up the old thermal paste by using like you know like alcohol wipes use this wipe wipe it down clean it up clean the CPU 
clean the graphics card and that's how you um, and apply with the new thermal paste right here which I use the MX4 for, for the uh, uh, the thermal paste here alright so here is the motherboard as you can see this motherboard is entirely one piece together it goes from left to right and here's the two fan right that we just removed earlier so let's go ahead and disconnect some cable so we can remove the motherboard so go ahead and flip open the uh, the clipper so this white oh I'm so sorry it's not the white it's the black so the clipper here the black one you flip it up so flip it flip it open towards yourself and the, the clipper would open up and you slide the, uh, the cable so this cable here is for your LCD okay here is a speaker so the speaker you want to slide it down right slide it towards yourself and this is the speaker so the speaker goes to the right and then this this cable right here red and black it run all along and goes to the left this is your speaker as well so left and right okay this is the cable this is a CMOS battery so if you have any problem with your uh, BIOS let's say if you configure the BIOS and you you know you mistakenly do some bad stuff on your motherboard BIOS then if you want to drain the BIOS you can remove the the, the CMOS battery so the CMOS battery here you just want to slide out to your left alright so that's how I remove the CMOS battery and you can actually remove it without um, any any problem there's no screw that holds on to the CMOS battery it's just a double sided tape right here okay so let's put that on the side uh, what else is connected so everything looks clean here I believe this is your I think this is probably um, the keyboard lighting it looks very tiny here I believe it's just a keyboard lighting let me yeah so once you open a clipper you can just slide, uh, slide the uh, cable towards yourself and that's how you remove it okay so this is the uh, the keyboard lighting I think I'm not 100% sure on this one um, again we work on the Wi-Fi remember earlier so uh, there's a tape horn to that Wi-Fi cable go ahead and remove the tape and just put the Wi-Fi here on the side uh, this is your Wi-Fi card if you have a bad Wi-Fi you want to change it out this is how you change it um, but yeah let's remove the motherboard so this one screw and looks like there's no more screw just one I'm pretty sure there's more than one all right there's one here which is the silver screw all right now I can feel like the motherboard is slightly opening up okay there's one here on the top left corner all right so far it's looking good if there's any screw here on the right side there's no screw on the right side okay so there's only three screws let, let me recap recap what I just did one here on the top one here on the top left and there's one here I believe for that for that screw so there are three screws and the motherboard will just come loose do not pull the motherboard the reason why is there's another cable right here so this is your keyboard cable the keyboard cable is hidden underneath the motherboard so you need to flip towards yourself 
and you can see this little um, tape here is taping down to the keyboard so let's go ahead and remove that keyboard right now so let me go ahead and get this get this uh, tape off the keyboard once I have the tape off the keyboard it slide out you see how this little clipper you need to make sure the clipper is open and then the keyboard will slide out this direction away from you okay and here's your entire motherboard now where can you buy the motherboard replacement I do not know maybe you're going to look it up here on this serial number here maybe let me see if there's any serial number here I don't see it so let me flip it around maybe look it up here or maybe look it up here but yeah in general just google it up you know like look it up on ebay if you can see if you want to do a motherboard replacement this is how you replace the entire motherboard so let's put the motherboard on the side here and uh, just kind of give a quick walkthrough with you so this is your keyboard as you can see this is the keyboard right here your touchpad I believe this is the keyboard lighting this is your LCD this is the speaker alright so the keyboard the way they built it is not a separate component this is meaning that it's attached all together so if you have a bad keyboard and you need to replace it I'm just sorry you need to replace the entire entire cover the bottom part right here okay you need to replace the entire the entire this this here um, if you have a bad LCD screen and um, if you want to replace it so it's very easy um, so so far we have you know removed the uh, the motherboard but if you want to replace the LCD entirely meaning that um, including the hinges right so this is your right hinge flip it up come here remove the three screws this is your left hinge lift it up a 90 degree angle and the bottom part of it will just come right out okay so this is your LCD screen with the hinge on it and this is the bottom part where all the keyboard and the touchpad is all together alright so if you have a bad keyboard you need to replace entirely like this because the keyboard is punched down from the manufacturer it's not a screw in so you cannot replace the keyboard on its own you have to replace entirely like this alright so I think I'm gonna stop the video here I, I have disassembled the entire computer uh, if you like my video give me a thumbs up and uh, if you have any question comment below I'm more than happy to answer those questions I really appreciate if you smash the like button, subscribe to my channel. It helps me and keep me motivated to make more of these type of videos for you. A different model, a different laptop. Um, yeah, so I'm just excited to make more of this and I hope you like it. I hope this video gives you uh, a guidance, a tutorial. And until next time, I wish you good luck with your repair. Take care. Bye-bye.